FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has a country like this. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. Bears are in big trouble now. Yes, they are. Hey everybody, welcome to the show into the beautiful Canadian province of Alberta. Hi, I'm Dale McKinnon. I'm an outfitter up here in northern Alberta. We, uh, we hunt trophy black bears and white-tailed deer. We're hunting black bears uh, in the spring over bait. Uh, up here in Alberta we have a two bear limit. Uh, means each hunter automatically gets two tags and and uh, approximately 30% of the bears here are color face. Uh, success normally runs 150% plus on two bears. The cool thing about coming to Alberta, rather than going to other provinces that have hunted before, is the fact that you can kill two black bears in Alberta. And so with that being said, I mean, there's gotta be a great population of black bears. And there is. We wound up, we had about a three hour drive from uh, Edmonton over here to the camp. And what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna just take a shot right quick. I wanna make sure I know where my rifle's hitting. Although I'm gonna store my rifle in as good a gun case as I can possibly store it in, I always wanna make sure and check zero before ever heading to the field. And that's what I'm gonna do here. Typically out here, your shots are set up really for, for close range. The reason why is you look out here and see all this thick brush. I mean, it's thick, tall trees, thick forest. And so the shots that uh, he's got this set up at right now is a whopping 20 yards. I'm shooting a 300 Win Mag. This is made by Legendary Arms Works. And I've shot animals at it a long ways with it. So a 20 yard shot ought to be like a two foot putt. But we're gonna still check zero. The scope is a five by 30. It's made by the folks at Sightmark. It's called a Pinnacle. The reason why I like using this scope in hunting situations where I'm hunting and likely to be shooting in low light conditions, and that's the way bears and hogs are, is that it's got a lighted reticle. I can actually turn it and light the reticle up either green or red, and I can do it to my liking. So although in the daytime, like we are right now, I don't need a lit reticle. When it gets dark, and it's really getting low light in the woods, that illuminated reticle will really help me. Exactly where it ought to be shooting. You know, I hate to make too much of an adjustment on it, and the reason why is because although the bait barrel may be close like this, uh, depending upon where Dale puts me, I may have a 50 or 60 yard shot, so that's about right where it ought to be right there. Good enough. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconix, Walls Pro Series. Legendary Arms Works, Sightmark, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, and Tannerite. The High Road will be right back. We set up last year in the very first night 
was not a good example of what we can expect up here in Alberta. The first night, the weather was bad and the bears were a no-show. But then it's like somebody flipped a switch and the second night, it was on big time. And to let you know just how much it was on, Jansen Jones wound up, now get this folks, I've hunted a lot of black bears in a lot of different provinces and I've never even seen a seven foot long black bear. Well, Jansen Jones shoots two seven foot black bear in the same evening. Meanwhile, I just got my fingers crossed hoping that a giant comes in front of me, but I wound up had a color phase bear come out and I decided to take him. Okay, hold on. Are you going? During last year's hunt, I wound up seeing so many different black bears that literally I lost count. You know, I've been to a lot of places black bear hunting, but I have never seen the population of black bears the way it is here in Alberta. So I was stoked about getting to come back. The difference is between this year and last year, this year, well, we're the first hunters out and it's been a late spring, which means, well, the bears aren't up moving around like they ought to be, or are they? You know, all year long I've been looking forward to coming back here. The reason why is because Jansen, well, Jansen shot two monster bears and I think I want one of them. Well, so this year I decided, okay, I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna let my trigger finger take me over. I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda keep my finger off the trigger. Yeah, right. I can't do that. I'm sitting the very first evening and this bear comes walking in, it's like he does everything perfect. And he's a big, nice, mature black bear. What do I do? I gotta shoot him. out baby holy smokes oh my gosh that bear dropped in his tracks that's a beautiful bear look at him that bear wound up coming in he was so cautious holy smokes he came in he was moving down through the brush right here he stopped he went back he took about 15 minutes and finally coming in, and I think that he knew that I was here. That's why he was walking up this way. And it's like, I took the best shot I could make where I knew there wasn't gonna be any tracking whatsoever. I put it right in the brain and dropped him exactly where he was standing. Whew. That's a beautiful bear right there. Beautiful. I mean, look at that coat on him. Let's take a look at this back foot here. Let me show you. This is the reason why bears can sneak around the woods so quietly. You see that? 
Look at that. Look at the soft pad on the bottom. And let's take a look at its head. And take a look at this. I mean, that bear's got a pretty good size head on him. Look at that. Yes, sir. And look at his chompers. If y'all want more information about black bear hunting opportunities in Alberta with my friend Dale McKinnon, we'll have a direct link off of my website to Dale's website. And I'm telling you, I've bear hunted in lots of places all over. I have never ever seen a place that has as many and as big of black bears as right here with Dale McKinnon. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Pulsar. Timber Creek Outdoors, Legends Ranch, the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back. Tannerite Binary Reactive Rifle Targets presents viewer feedback. All right, this one's from a viewer by the name of Liz. It says, I heard last year you offered a discount code for anybody purchasing ammo online at Freedom Munitions. Are you gonna do that again this year? Liz, the answer is absolutely yes. Freedom Munitions is an online ammunition store. You can buy it directly from the manufacturer and they'll ship it right to your home at low, low prices. And when you use the promo code KW2017, you'll get an additional 5% off of anything on the website. So make sure and go and order on freedommunitions.com. Use that promo code and you'll save an additional 5%. Thanks, Liz. Now it's time for Gear Care, brought to you by the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line. If you're looking for a polish to clean up your brass as well as parts of your firearm, Jerry's gonna show you a polish that works wonderful. So what I have is Lucas Gunmetal Polish Tumbler Media Additive. And the correct way to do this is to have one ounce of additive to every quart of tumbling media that you have. So what you want to do is go ahead and put it all in there, let it circulate for a while, get it all introduced into the media, and then you throw your brass in, and about an hour and a half later, it should be what you want. So, uh, but what I like to do with it, I clean a lot of guns with it. One thing you want to remember with this product also, you want to shake it up before you use it, make sure it's all mixed really nice. Mm -hmm. Give you an idea how effective it is. Uh, we'll take this gas system on this Mossberg 930 and uh, clean the top of this, this gas magazine assembly here. Look at there. Wow. Give you an idea wow. how quick that is. This is, wow. this, this is what I do all the time before I shoot a match. I take the guns down, I get them spotless, and uh, the metal polish is a part of what I do. And you can take a look. This is a before and after shot of the brass right here, and look how pretty that is. I mean, that is pretty amazing, and it's just another great product by Lucas Oil Outdoor Line. For more information on the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, visit our website and join us on Facebook for more gear care tips. So with one bear down, uh, keep in mind we can kill two black bears up here in Alberta. I'm going to hold out. I'm going to try to hold out anyway. The second night out, I wound up, got put up in this tree and I thought this was the perfect spot. But conditions weren't really that good. I mean, it was kind of blowing and, and a little bit too windy. But the bears, they still moved. The problem is they didn't move till right at dark. One of the tools that I wind up always using on a black bear hunt is going to be a game camera. And the reason why is because the game camera is going to keep track of what's going on 24 hours a day. And with the Reconics that I have set up, it's clear there's activity all day long. You got to keep in mind, this is big, big country. I mean, tens of thousands of acres and these bears can go anywhere and they do. And they've got lots of baits that they put out and that they monitor throughout the season to make sure that when the hunters come in, they're gonna put you on an active bait. But the country is so big that there literally is no way that the guide can go in and check a bait every single day. That's why they rely on game cameras to do monitoring. But the cool thing about it is, for example, Cole. Cole was our guide last year. And Cole, fortunately, is our guide this year. And he is the most knowledgeable guy you're gonna ever meet in bear camp. He can drive in on the quad and he jumps out and he starts looking around and he goes, oh, he gets all fired up. He's got a smile. He points to this and he points to that and he can spot a little piece of hair. 
He spots the, the poop on the ground. He spots the tracks and knows which direction the bears are going. He knows how big they are. And whether you've got a camera there or not, he knows this is the place that you need to sit. Road with Keith Warren is presented by PyramidAir.com, Liberty Safe, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, and Shadow Hunter Blinds. The High Road will be right back. In all the places I've hunted black bears, I've never seen what goes on with the dead bears that goes on here at Dale's. Okay, you're gonna see Dale every single day. He's gonna be there when you eat. He's gonna be there when you go out. He's gonna be there cleaning bears on that table. Other outfitters wind up cleaning bears, but I've never seen the fact that Dale winds up like a taxidermist. I mean, he fleshes it out, turns the lips and, and the eyes. He salts it down really good. He takes care of the cape better than any bear outfit I've ever been with. And that's just another one of the added values that you get when you come with Dale McKinnon. Dale is a hunter's hunter, okay? He is smart. He is accommodating for his customers. He is so knowledgeable about the black bears you can't even imagine. And every time I come up here, it's like I look at him and I think, you know what? I don't know why anybody goes anywhere else on a black bear hunt when you got somebody like Dale McKinnon to go with. And the people that come with Dale, they're repeat customers. And so if you're somebody interested, if you're looking to go on the best black bear hunt that you'll ever go on in your life, okay, ever, baited black bear hunt, 
this is the guy to go with. The problem is you better call him right now because he's got a list as long as his legs and legs are long because he's a tall guy, okay? And come on this hunt and I promise you, you will fall in love with spring black bear hunting. Well, the week is half up now and uh, Jance and I are both halfway done with our Alberta spring bear hunt this year. But we've got plenty of footage to make an entire program. And so we're gonna wrap this one up. I wanna encourage you, if you have any questions or comments, please get a hold of me. I'll be more than happy to take time to get back in touch with you. If you'd like to contact Dale McKinnon to go on the best black bear hunt you'll ever go on in your life, we'll have a direct link from our website to his site. Get a hold of him, you better do it quickly because he doesn't have many openings for this next season. I'm Keith Warren and I'd like to tell you thanks for watching The High Road. Thank you.